well folks welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video it's ron here hope you guys are doing very well today i've been getting a lot of your comments talking about schd the charles schwab investment etf portfolio that pays a pretty respectable dividend right and it has been quite the performer over many many years but schd it's been down for a while now SCHD is highly correlated to the best dividend stocks that money can buy. The ETF has a high yield. Uh, it's got consistent dividend growth and it's got a low expense ratio. Now, you know, while the equity risks are high, SCHD could still potentially outperform the market. Now, even though SCHD is down at the moment, there's still some pretty compelling reasons why an investment in SCHD's ETF may actually still be a good play. Now, you know, it's got some pretty solid macroeconomic fundamentals. And at the end of the day, people want income. People want to make money off of this dividend ETF. And I don't blame them. Right. But there's also growth. And um, so the SCHD ETF has gotten a lot of attention lately, mainly because it's been headed down. But, you know, uh, like we discussed on previous videos, it's the longer term outlook that we have to keep in mind, even when our stocks our index funds and our ETFs may be headed down shortly. And of course, you guys know what Fed Chair Jerome Powell just uh, recently said the other day. Um, basically, they're not in, they're not going to increase interest rates for June of 2023. However, they are monitoring the, the economic situation. CPI inflation is coming down a little bit, which is a good thing. But inflation still above the 2% inflation target. The Fed is planning a good 2 additional rate hikes in 2023 so we got to be prepared folks now unfortunately picking great stocks is pretty hard to do you know and this is usually why you know i don't want to have to be the expert in all these different stocks so i usually pick high quality etfs and index funds schd is one of them now um the best stocks in this environment are companies with strong balance sheets, low debt levels, and, you know, relatively safe dividends. You know, generally speaking, if you're picking, uh, what do you call it, uh, dividend aristocrats, these are companies that have been paying a dividend for at least 25 years without interruption and also increasing their dividends. Chances are you'll probably be pretty good going forward. Of course, there's no guarantee. And I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax advisor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not any of these things. So take my opinion with a grain of salt. Um, but, you know, uh, I want to share a list of stocks with you that was actually generated from Yahoo, uh, the Yahoo Finance Screener. I don't know how many of you guys use it. Uh, but, but these companies that I'm going to share with you, these are some pretty solid companies based on my own personal opinion. And... They have very solid dividend paying history. So uh, basically, these are companies are these are all U.S. based companies. These are um, large and mega cap companies. They've got a net leverage ratio of no more than two times EBITDA. The dividend yield that they pay is at least two percent and at least 15 years of consecutive growth. Now, many, if not most of these companies are also within the SCHD, the Charles Schwab ETF that I know you guys are huge fans of. So, but if you wanted to buy these individually, here they are. So you got ExxonMobil, XOM, you got Johnson & Johnson, that's ticker symbol J&J, &J, Procter & Gamble, PG, Chevron, CVX, you got Texas Instruments, TXN, Qualcomm, QCOM, Lockheed Martin, CLMT, Automatic automatic data processing, which is ADP, they do the check processing. Uh, Illinois Toolworks, ITW, Air Air Products and Chemicals, APD, and a lot of these companies. You're probably thinking to, my, to yourself, I don't know, I've never heard of these companies. Well, you don't necessarily need to be super familiar with these companies, um, un unless you're doing your homework and buying the company itself individually. Now, if you're buying ETFs and index funds, chances are you're not going to know about every company in there. But the other thing is some of these companies are business to business. And unless you're in the business that th these companies are marketing to, maybe maybe you don't know about them. Because if you're just a consumer or your business doesn't align with their target market, 
maybe they're not marketing to you and maybe that's why you're not familiar with them but it doesn't mean that they're not good companies to potentially invest in you got travelers companies trv aflac uh incorporated afl uh cummins genuine parts gpc hormel foods robert half international i think robert half is like that staffing company um you know i always wanted to this coffee is not as good as it usually is this is cafe bustello and usually it's just a little bit sweeter and i don't know why it's lacking in flavor today anyway William Sonoma, WSM, you got Polaris, Assurant, and you got Flower Foods. Now, put in an equal weight portfolio, these 24 stocks have returned almost 14% per year since 2012, which is freaking phenomenal. And the sta standard deviation was like 14%. This is a terrific, terrific return based on my own personal um, uh, opinion and the standard deviation is very respectable given the volatility that we've seen over the years however you probably would have gotten about a 13.2 percent return with a 13.8 percent standard deviation without having to monitor all 24 of those individual stocks if you just simply invested in schd's etf now of course i'm not you know i'm not sponsored by anyone on this video i'm just sharing some information with you guys and I'm definitely not being sponsored by Charles Schwab's investment team. But let's just say you're looking at SCHD and you're saying to yourself, you know what? I like SCHD, but I want to look outside of it. Well, I'm going to share with you guys seven of the best um, mutual funds offered by Charles Schwab. So let's just say you like the Charles Schwab ETF SCHD, but you want something else. Let's talk about some of the other options, right? Now, despite the different, despite the popularity of exchange traded funds or ETFs, investors, they could still find value in some of these good old fashioned mutual funds. Now, these long standing investment vehicles, which pretty much, I mean, for me, I started with mutual funds to start off with. I didn't start off with ETFs. I, my very first investment was an investment in um, mutual funds, not ETFs. In fact, I don't even think ETFs were a thing when I started investing. ETFs came later. Uh, by the way, ETFs are exchange traded funds for those who might not be familiar. And you can purchase these on any of your favorite brokerage platforms, M1 Finance, Fidelity, E-Trade, um, Moomoo, Weeble. Uh, so, you know, whatever is convenient for you, Charles Schwab, you can buy them on Charles Schwab, Merrill Lynch, you name it. And so anyway, you know, while while these longstanding investment vehicles, they allow investors to access a diversified portfolio of assets managed on behalf of their personal fund managers which is kind of cool uh you got a team of professionals that are helping to guide your investments which you don't necessarily get with other types like if you're buying a stock directly individually you're not gonna have a team of investors coaching you um and uh and monitoring the investment performance uh you, you're not gonna have that now in accounts like 401ks or health savings accounts or HSAs, a lineup of various mutual funds may offer the only kind of investments available, um, you know, by mixing and matching different options according to the different risk tolerances and time horizons, investors can create the optimal self-directed portfolio. Now, very popular choice for mutual funds is, of course, the Charles Schwab Corp SCHW. All right. Now, not to be confused with SCHD. Now, SCHW, it also provides retailers with additional services and products like ETFs, financial planners, robo-advisors, and brokerage platforms. Now, currently, the company is actually sporting a lineup of well over 50 different mutual funds, most of which have no lows, no transaction fees, and no minimum uh, required investments Um or actually, I think the minimum required investment is like $100, but that's pretty freaking low. So uh, anyway, all in all, these features, they pretty much make the Charles Schwab funds pretty accessible for most people. So let's talk about the Charles Schwab S&P 500 index, which is symbol, ticker symbol SWPPX. So um, this is a, a perennial, this is a perennial favorite among S, uh, U.S. investors and 
It's got a long-term track record uh, with a high risk tolerance, um, and it's closely tracking the S&P 500 index. And this is basically a market weighted, uh, a market cap weighted basket of like 500 uh, large U.S. stocks selected by committee. So you got a team of people picking these things. So usually you'll be pretty good with those. Um, but I do like the long term track record and investment performance on that particular mutual fund. Um, then we have the Charles Schwab Total Stock Market Index, which is SWTSX. And, you know, this is one Charles Schwab fund that is worth uh, considering, which is SWTSX. It's offering a pretty broad exposure to the entire U.S. equity market. And it's also got a pretty low expense ratio of 0.03%. And I don't know if I've ever seen an expense ratio less than that. So you're not giving your money away to the bank, so to speak. Now, this particular fund expands the 500 large cap stocks in the S&P 500 to also include another 3,000 or so small and mid cap stocks by tracking the uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Index average. So this one is pretty broad. Now, I have five more Charles Schwab stocks uh, or actually mutual funds that I want to share with you guys, but I'm going to leave these in the description of this video for you and drop me some comments down below. Let me know if any of these are of interest to you. And also let me know if there's any topics you want me to cover in future videos. If you made it this far in the video, drop your boy a like, consider subscribing. And, uh, and I wish you guys the best of luck toward reaching and achieving financial freedom. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Y'all be safe.